Bro, oh, thank you. Bro, oh, thank you. I'm 50 years old, going on 51. Big job. The first thing I want to say is how very proud I am of our young people. How very proud I am of the fact an hour. that they my job down there was a and what is now considered their own revolution. I understand that I'm a psychologist and an attorney. And I understand as an adult person we used to say things like, we don't condone the riots. We're supposed to say we don't condone the violence. But the young man who just spoke is absolutely correct. At the time that this happened, I was out of the state. And I realized that the only reason I knew what was going on is because Quick Strip burned down. No one listens to a peaceful protest. I'm not trying to incite a riot. I'm just simply stating a fact. If there's a peaceful protest, then you have no justice. No justice, no peace means exactly that. It means until you see something that resembles Justice, they shall have no peace. That's what that is. The second thing I want to say is this. As a community, as adults, we have taught people how they can treat our children. I'm getting ready to be raw right now. It's good, sister. We have taught the police that they can beat our children, right. yeah. that they can kill our children, yeah. that they can throw our children in jail and throw away the key. Yeah. We have taught this. Yeah. We have abused our own children. Yeah. We teach people how to treat us. Yeah. And we have given the explicit message yeah. to the public yeah. that we believe Shut our down. children our black male children in particular thing. are disposable. Yeah. They yeah. are not disposable. Yeah. But that is the message we have given them. Yeah. Yes, many have been abandoned by their fathers. And I'm going to say something about what you said because it's time for truth. Part of the truth is when those boys have been abandoned by their fathers, many have been abused by their mothers. Yes. Okay? Yes. And in yes. doing that, yes. some of the language that we use, yes. the verbal abuse, yes. the emotional abuse, yes. the physical yes. abuse, yes. Just like your father. they see yes. this. Be nothing. They deal with it every day. So it sends to them the message that we believe it is acceptable. So we have to send a different message. The other thing is this. When you start a revolution, when you start a war, you need to have clarity of purpose. Yeah. Clarity. You don't go into war without clarity. You don't go into war without knowing your ultimate goal. You need to know when you have reached satisfaction. Yeah. What does justice look like? It's not enough to say, I want justice. We need to know when justice has been achieved. Is it indicting Darren Wilson? I would venture to say that that is a part of justice. But we need to understand and be very clear about what the warriors who started the war were planning when they started it. What did justice look like? And it's fine that you want to talk to them. I teach police officers, I teach them for 17 years. You can talk to them. Most of them right now, they're not listening. I know not. They're not hearing you. And so before you engage what you consider to be the enemy, you need to first engage yourselves. You need to come together. I know it feels powerful to bring all this energy in this direction towards this police tape that is here with this artificial boundary. I hope they don't shoot me, but they might. It feels good to send out that energy in that direction, but you're wasting some of your energy. You don't give your energy away to them. You foster your energy and then figure out how you're going to direct it in single point focus. Single point focus. The art of war, single point focus. The art of war. Identify who your enemy is. Are these really your enemies? No. Are these really your enemies? No, there's a pimp above all of them. They just pawns the enemy. They just pawns our enemies. You need to understand 
They just come what? They big you consumers. are fighting for a fucking goal. You need to stop saying to me so you can buy it. Not two weeks like you asked us to do. Our sister and y'all have been I appreciate her. You don't step back for two weeks. Because you already knew when you went to the streets what you were hoping for. So now you channel all of your energy towards what you were hoping for. This is a wonderful step. But if the grand jury is who you want to influence, you need to give the grand jury no peace. If Bob McCullough is who you're trying to change, you give Bob McCullough no peace. Right. That's who you give no peace to. I'm gonna tell y'all how we go. Every handle. single day. All they respect. At his office, at his house, at the grand jury courtroom. That's where you do it. But you have to come together and make that decision. And you have to do it. And you have to do it together. I think so too. Like, because a lot of a lot of people, a lot of our street.